Okay, so this is called a liner. And uh, it's a number 10, L-I-N-E-R, liner. And name of the company is Engraver. N, looks like G-R-A-V-E-R. -E it's a very high quality tough steel and it's like the tines of a fork. It's the, like, it's a, like uh, each one of these is a cutting surface. It's like raised ribs. So it cuts, uh, looks like it cuts uh, 10 lines for every uh, quarter of an inch. And it's used to remove background because the teal is really strong. And it's used to make uh, decorations, uh, shading on scroll, on American scroll. It's a quickie way to get engraving done that they did at the factory. So they use that on a lower grade gun maybe or, of engraving. And you can see this one has a little curve to it has a little tiny bit of a belly so you can go around corners a little easier. When the back raises up, you don't have your back dragging over the scroll and scurrying it up. See the curve? There's another one here that's flat someplace, but we won't bother to get it. I'm just gonna show you this stuff real quick. Here's some magnification while I was engraving uh, for this company in England. It was really fine work, so I got this. I think I paid 350 or 400 dollars for these because I don't like to use a microscope the reason I don't like to use a microscope is because I don't want to slow down I'm afraid a microscope will slow me down I'm doing restoration work and, I'm, and I like to use the old style cutting a lot of times if it's appropriate and I want to engrave the same way that they did in the 1840s or 1940s and they didn't use microscopes back then so I can't use a microscope Otherwise, my engraving would look all different. And no one generally, I've ever known, wanted to see my engraving under a microscope. So I didn't need to bother. But I needed this for real fine engraving work. And uh, that's, a, that's the end of that.